this week. Transformers came to the U.S. last week, and, well, it has some problems, most noticeably blurry graphics and a complete lack of enemy variety. But if you're a Transformers fan, it's still a competent rail shooter with a nice progression system that lets you kill everything in sight. Sadly, when the game launched here in North America last week, the European version was nowhere to be seen, though according to the devs over at Metaphor Interactive, we should be seeing it sometime this week. After a month-long build-up, developer First Contact Entertainment celebrated the four-year anniversary of Firewall this week by revealing, well, nothing at all. <laughs> in fact, whatever they had planned got delayed at the absolute last minute, but be patient. We should know what they have in the works soon enough. All right, let's get a position for breach. With so many games about to be officially announced for PlayStation VR 2, it's hard to get too excited for games that simply might be coming. But I'm willing to make an exception here when developers behind indie favorite Dark showed off something that looks as cool as Bloody Hell Hotel, saying that a PSVR 2 version will likely happen. But what is Bloody Hell Hotel? Well, you play as a vampire, and by foraging, farming, crafting, and fighting your way through monster-infested dungeons, you'll find the resources you need to restore greatness to your mansion and turn it into a thriving hotel business. Immerse yourself in a voxel game designed exclusively for VR. A beautiful, infinite procedural world to explore, gather resources, craft with your hands in 3D, and build anything you can imagine. Featuring great VR controls, near infinite view distances, and much more. Much like the game we just talked about, Bloody Hell Hotel, Cube VR is one we should see on PSVR 2 if everything goes as planned. So we'll be keeping an eye on this one for sure. What's that without that ring? This is the NFL. It ain't just about your own. You lead every player in that huddle. Lead your team to the Super Bowl, improve your quarterback skills by participating in drills, or play catch virtually with your friends in your favorite NFL stadium. As an NFL quarterback, you'll feel the excitement of what it's like to lead your team and compete under the bright lights with thousands of screaming fans. We haven't exactly gotten a ton of sports games in VR yet, so hopefully the announcement of NFL Pro Era made more than a few PSVR gamers pretty happy. And this week, Ravens quarterback Lamar Jackson tweeted that it's coming to VR platforms starting September 15th. And yeah, trust me, I agree with you. The phrase starting September 15th is a bit concerning, so we'll know soon enough whether Pro Era lands on all platforms simultaneously or if we're in for a wait. Welcome to the future of the field, NFL Pro Era. Last week, the Synthriders team dropped five tweets hinting at something coming to the game, and this week we found out that it's a new League of Legends music pack. It features Giants, More, Pop Stars, Awaken, and Legends Never Die, which is also playable as an experience. The League of Legends music pack is available now and costs $7.99. Defined as a single-player co-op adventure where you play the roles of two characters, a knight and an alchemist, Mixture follows an exiled knight, Steel Moth, who traverses dangerous barren worlds of living metals, ores, and crystals to find means of redemption. To achieve it, she reluctantly strikes a pact with, and is joined by, a power-hungry master alchemist who can twist the properties of elemental matter. Together, they form a force to be reckoned with.
this week. week.